yo, yo, good morning, everybody. It is a beautiful, uh, what's today? Thursday morning. Uh, today is July 2nd, 2020. And you are tuning into the Morning Wake and Bake Show, uh, hosted by us, the Chosen Family. That's us in the pictures. It's just like, uh, what's that? What's that one game with all the pictures and stuff? Uh, Hollywood Squares. That's us. We're the Hollywood Square people. <clears throat> all right. So <laughs> uh, today's show is uh, brought to you by uh, Minnesota Marijuana, our uh, amazing community. Um, if you are not a member of the community, uh, get a hold of one of us on Facebook and we'll shoot you an invite. And uh, Minnesota Normal, uh, which is our organization. Uh, you can visit us at www.mnnormal, that's N-O-R-M-L dot O-R-G, and uh, learn how you can become a dues paying member uh, for as little as $4.20 a month. All right, so <clears throat> today in our national news, uh, we're gonna be talking about a couple of things. First, um, there is a, uh, there was a, uh, group in Arizona who ended up uh, getting a bunch of petitions signed for their uh, ballot initiative. And, uh, and so David will hop into that in a second. And then uh, after that, we'll be talking about, um, we'll kind of be following up on a story we had uh, a couple of days ago uh, concerning um, Attorney General Barr uh, doing investigations on um, marijuana companies that uh, weren't warranted or uh, merited and um, and so now uh, it turns out that his uh, superiors are like, dude, that wasn't cool. And so now there's open investigation and there's a possibility that he may be impeached from the uh, US uh, attorney, um, general attorney position. And then in local news, uh, we got some really cool events coming up. So stay tuned for that. Uh, but first I'm gonna pass it off to my man, David for the first national story. What up, Dave? Thanks, Vary. <clears throat> Smart and Safe Arizona announced on Wednesday that they submitted 420,000 raw signatures to the Secretary of State's office one day before the turn-in deadline. They need 237,645 valid signatures from registered voters to qualify. This marks another drug policy reform success amid the coronavirus pandemic, which has forced campaigns in several other states to end due to social distancing and stay-at-home requirements. Advocates joined with three separate campaigns in April to ask the Supreme Court to order the Secretary of State to allow electronic signature gathering, but the request is denied. Even so, the raw numbers signal the legislation effort is in a comfortable position to make the ballot once signatures are verified. Arizonans are ready to legislate, to, are ready to legalize cannabis, and, and this is the right policy for our state, Arizona Dispensary Association President Steve White said in a press release. New jobs and revenue are even more critical today than we, we when we embarked on this campaign last year. The legalization petition would allow individuals 21 and older to possess and purchase cannabis from licensed retailers. People could, could possess up to an ounce of marijuana at a time and cultivate up to six plants for personal use. And I, that really does echo a lot of the state's initiatives right now there, even ours. So that's yep. that absolutely and do you do you happen to know if um okay so i don't know um so arizona is actually a, a ballot initiative state then is that what i'm correct hearing? where they can uh just collect votes or collect yep. signatures and they've done their polling ballot. too so if the if the measure does make the ballot recent polling indicates that it will prevail uh, in a yeah, survey awesome. of likely voters about mm. two-thirds 65.5 percent of respondents said they would support the proposed legislative or initiative. Yeah, dope. Man, you know, I wish we could do that here. Hell yeah. Arizona, Arizona's been on the top of that hill for a little bit now. They've been about ready to go down it. So it's is good to see. Right. Cannabis there. Sales tax would be taxed at 16%. Tax revenue would cover implementation costs. They would be divided among funds for community colleges, infrastructure, justice, justice reinvestment, and public services, such as police and firefighters. You know, everything that's, this is what I always tell people too about the benefits that, that can come from this if done properly. Right. Cool. Yeah, I think it'd be a great opportunity if we could do it here, man. We definitely gotta make it happen. Right. Um, so I'll switch over to the local news 
So locally, we've got a couple of events coming up. We'd love it if you guys can come out and support us. Um, July 4th, Saturday, this weekend, we're going to be at Composure Park in St. Paul. You guys come on out, hang out with us. Uh, we're going to have free food. We're going to be doing kickball. We're going to be doing disc golf and just having a good time with the chosen family, getting to know each other. Um, if you got kids, bring your kids. Um, it'll be a good time. It's going to be a little warm, so we'll have plenty of water. Uh, plenty of things to do. Also, after that, July 14th, we're going to have a live video conference on the Wake and Bake crew with the Secretary of State's office. So if you're following us and you join us live every morning, make sure you jump on July 14th. Um, we'll be on there live talking about how to get involved with, legal with legalization through voting and how you can vote at the polls on election day, whether at home or absentee ballot voting. Also, this Friday, we'll have a candidate that's running for office in 67A. Um, BFL endorsed candidate John Thompson is going to come on and talk to us about um, his campaign that he's running, why he supports legalization. If you guys aren't familiar with John Thompson, he was a real good friend of Philando Castile. Um, and he really wants to see legalization happen for more than just the fact that we can use it and make jobs, but stop people from being incriminated because of cannabis. So if you get a chance to jump on with us this Friday, we'll also be on there with John Thompson. So jump on tomorrow early in the morning. We also have an event in Duluth. I'll let Ginger tell you a little bit more about that event. That is July 18th on Saturday, um, about 1230 at Lee Ferrickson Park. Down by Stone Stage will be up above on the right by the path so come on out register to vote if you are registered at least come out and say hi um we can in, uh, smoke the vote take the pledge and we will be out there again with the chosen family and come say hi come meet us come hang out with us come so if you guys don't us. follow the event on facebook go on facebook um that event is posted and you'll be able to see and get more information on that. Also, we are doing a Cannabis March for Freedom during Loud on the River, that's on July 26. We're encouraging everybody in our cannabis community to come out and march with us. Um, we'll have flags, we'll have merch, we'll have free food, um, plenty of activities. We're gonna be handing out information for the different nonprofits that are working on legalization in Minnesota. Um, it's gonna be a real good time for those of, the, of you that do have Tickets for the VIP boat ride after. Um, we'll be loading the boat around 2.30 or so. If you don't have a ticket, please show up because if the state opens up more, they're gonna allow us to have more people on the boat. So we need you to march either way it goes. Come on out and support us and let's do a big community get together and you know build support for legalization in Minnesota. So I'm gonna hand it over to Jenny. Do you have a volunteers for us today? Yes, yeah. yes, I do. Mike, real quick, uh, what time yep. was that event uh, starting? <laughs> it's going to start at 11 o'clock. We're going to be down at Harriet Island. The march okay. is going to start at Harriet Island. We're going to march into St. Paul. We're going to march through downtown St. Paul. And we're going to come back across the Wabashaw Bridge back into Harriet, to Harriet Island. So we're doing the loop. Real quick also, for everybody that uh, wants to watch or be involved with John Thompson or the Secretary of State, um, if you are not on the Zoom meetings, give us your questions in advance so that we're not running through this quickly while he's on here. We've got him and we've got chances to talk to these people and you have questions, submit them to us. We'll read through them and see which ones we want to ask. And maybe we'll have somebody join up. Um, one of the chosen family can jump on our Facebook live feed and relay the questions to us for those of you that are watching on Facebook. If you're unable to get on the actual Zoom conference, if you do join, you'll be an attendee once the live starts, but you can still send questions and chat with us while you're in the attendee section. So, yeah, thanks for that, Greg. Um, Jenny, did you have a bong cheer for us today? If you want to. Yep, I was just waiting for everybody to get done talking. That's all. <laughs> What's up, everybody on Facebook? Hi, Mom. <laughs> Hi, Mom. Hi, Mom. So yeah, ain't that some shit? Right. So I do, have, I do have a feature artist for you guys today. 
Um, Gears. Give me one second here. <coughs> cheers, everybody. Lighter can't cheers without my lighter. Oh no! Oh, no. I got the Jenny kit. I'll be honest, oh, no. my bottle is empty. <coughs> you got a Jenny hit? Oh. 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 Yeah. 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 Sorry about that, y'all. The audio is crazy. Yeah, that was a little loud. That's good. Here we go. Okay. Well, that was Tropical Swisher. Um, I'll send you info for that track. Um, we'll get back into it, though. So now we would have a guest speaker that will be talking about some of the things we're working on. Um, tomorrow, this will be the portion where John Thompson will come on um, and discuss legalization with us and how we can support the efforts and uh, all that good stuff. This will also be the portion where the Secretary of State's office will be starting um, on July 14th, but we don't have a guest today. So as usual, we'll just talk to you about the things that we do have going on and how you can get involved. Hey, Mike, What's could we up? put up a question? Could we put up a question in the group like tonight for these people? For like John Thompson, we submit something tonight on Facebook and have people put in their questions um, that we can review in the morning. And same thing with the night before the Secretary of State. Yeah, I think that's a, a great um, idea. I, I mean, it might end up being a lot of junk. <laughs> right. Um, but we can we can we can have people put up questions. Greg, if would you mind doing a post in the Minnesota I'll marijuana? Do it. Yep. And and if you'll tag me in the post as well. Okay. Um, and then I can read the questions off the live tomorrow, and then Greg yeah. can grab the questions off of that post tomorrow. I'll help right. you with the live, Corey. And then we'll need support with Facebook. So if I can get somebody to. That's um, what I'm talking about. I'm Facebook. I'm watching yeah, on Facebook. Okay. So, Corey, you're going to watch on Facebook for us and yep. give us our questions. So tomorrow we're not actually going to be live in Minnesota Marijuana. I know you guys look for us in Minnesota Marijuana each day but we'll actually be live on MN Normal. So if you don't follow the MN Normal page, um, you can go on there and you'll see the live started there. Once we do get the live up and running, I'll share it into Minnesota Marijuana, but it'll still be the Wake and Bake Crew link. So if you follow the Wake and Bake Crew every day, just follow the link and you'll see us. And if you're not um, following Minnesota Normal on Facebook and you're a Minnesota Marijuana, uh, follower, do it, please. Follow Minnesota Normal. Definitely. Yeah, I'll share on that normal. Share a link in there for you guys so you can find it right now. <clears throat> it's a little bit normal. Now there is. What did you uh, say, Mike? Cut out. It's more than just MN Normal. If you're new to this, organizations working with legalization. So please just follow us as they have things going on. We'll be supporting them as well. Um, I mean, Normal has always been a support organization where we do try to support all the different groups and words as well. So keep your eyes out for those as we get closer to the elections and the next session. I'm sure you'll see more, more coming from their groups um, because I'm sure they're going to want to push the legislation that's going on. And that's pretty much how it happens. So please keep an eye out. I shared I mean, Normal to the Minnesota Marijuana Group as well. So follow that um yeah oh and i actually got thank you cultivated industries you're uh you're you're part of the future too as a facebook Definitely. comment they said that uh we are all part of the future they know they right. are too right. 
definitely got to give a huge shout out to Cultivated. If you guys aren't familiar with Cultivated, um, before I started my own company, um, I was working with Cultivated. I was handing out some products and kind of helping get it out there. Um, it's a great company, man. And they've supported us over and over again since we started doing uh, stuff with their company. So get on there, follow them. Cultivated CBD on Facebook. Also, I do want to give a shout out to Sean Weber. Um, he's with Crested Rivers. He partnered up with me and we handed out <clears throat> tons of free, free uh, CBD joints. Um, there's a bunch of different groups out here, a bunch of different organizations and businesses that have supported us. And I'd like to find ways to give them more support on this platform as we're starting to do this stuff. But go check them out. Another great company. Um, I was going to say, add something. Yes, I spoke with Jeremy Sankey yesterday, and he's going to be coming out to march with us. And he's also going to be joining us for Loud on the River. Um, if you're not familiar with Jeremy Sankey, he's been supporting us for a really long time. Um, he runs the Minnesota Veterans for Cannabis page. So if you don't if you don't follow Minnesota Veterans for Cannabis, go on Facebook, look up M Minnesota Veterans for Cannabis, um, give them a like, and give them a shout out if you can. Right here. Oh, okay, it looks like it looks like Dave's got the shirt on right now, Minnesota. Right. So if you're a I vet, just, I, I just talked to Jeremy last night too. If you're a vet, you support the vets. Go on there and support. This yeah, one I got at the smoke shop uh, just in Mankato when you go up. I'm not sure what highway smoke that is. It goes up the hill. And you take a left and a right, and it's right there. Right. Is it the one that smokes for less? Yeah. I like your <coughs> name of it. But it's right is there it in, in like Mankato. a little strip mall? Hmm. Um, no, it's kind of by itself. I mean, there's other. There's a bar across the street from it. Okay, right. then I saw The parking smoke lot. Okay, what, Vari? Yo. What's up? That was a long time ago. What's popping? Oh, I'm gonna get yeah. you to wrap us up. I think you got everything for us, and please jump on. Uh, I'm gonna let Barry take us up out of here. All right. Well, um, yeah, that's another show. It was a great show. I had a really fun time on this show. I hope everybody who was watching had a fun time on this show. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna do another fun show tomorrow. Um, before I hop off and uh, close things out, I did want to share a quick little uh, thing with you guys. Uh, so these are the six ethics of life. Um, before you pray, believe. Before you speak, listen. Before you spend, earn. Before you write, think. Before you quit, try. And before you die, live. And I think that we can all agree that in like the, the times that we're living in now and everything going on right now that, um, you know, focusing on the things that make you happy and fulfill you the most is probably, uh, you know, the best thing that we can all do right now. So on that thought, thank you guys for joining us. Don't forget to check out minnesotanormal.com.org. Uh, that's N O R M L dot O R G. And, uh, you know, do what you gotta do. Do some research, uh, check us out, and then uh, become a dues paying member for $4.20 a month. I mean, you can do more, but that's the minimum. I mean, you know, four twenty. dollars So let's get it. Let's go. All right. See you guys tomorrow. Peace. Do the Vari. So bless, so bless, so bless.